I went to Herschel Girls School in Cape Town, South Africa, and it was right at the base of Table Mountain, so it was an incredibly beautiful campus, and it was filled with some of the loveliest, most genuine people I have ever been lucky enough to meet. They were so welcoming to me as soon as I got there, um, and all of the teachers as well, they were very accommodating. Um, even though I took subjects that I was doing at GCSE, obviously the courses that we were doing were slightly different, and it was really interesting to get an insight into kind of education across the globe and seeing what they do in their history versus what I do in my history lessons. Lessons were really interesting but we also had lots of time outside of school to explore Cape Town both with my host family and with school. So for example me and the other exchanges went on the most incredible trip up the garden route um, at the end of my stay there where we went exploring through Kango Caves, we went to a cheetah reserve, we segued through a rainforest. Um, it was The experiences were endless, the amount of things we got to see and it was the most incredible week just to top off the most amazing experience. So we got to see every single corner of South African culture, which I'm really grateful for. I went to Wellam, which is in the north of India, in Dehradun. My host family took me to the Taj Mahal and the Wagga border between India and Pakistan, which was fascinating. And they also knew that I had a particular interest in religion in India, so they took me to see the temple in Amritsar, um, which was completely surreal, and I'm still grateful to them for that opportunity. One of the biggest differences is when I got to the school um, was the content of the lessons. I remember we had uh, an English lesson where we were talking about Shakespeare's The Tempest and um, the teacher started talking about how the play related to colonialism which was a really eye-opening moment for me because I'd never considered that. It's a pleasure to be here talking about Rosie's exchange experience which was indeed um, I think a huge success and testament to that is that today I have Grace with me, who was Rosie's uh, New Zealand exchange buddy from 2018-19, uh, um, and I think they're destined to be lifelong friends, so what greater testament to the success of the programme. So the airport experience for myself and my friend India, who came to South Africa from down with me, was incredibly easy. We had literally a point by point itinerary made for us by Miss Cook and Miss Actor, so we knew exactly where we had to be at specific times. We were dropped off at the airport in plenty of time, so we had lots of time to, you know, browse through duty free. It was a very relaxing experience. It was actually my first time flying alone or without my parents, um, but it was honestly, it was a really wonderful experience and we weren't worried or rushed at any point. We had um, Miss Attar and Miss Cook literally on speed dial. We were on a WhatsApp group chat with them, so if we ever had any questions, it was really easy to get in contact with them. And we also had the numbers of our host family, our buddy, and the school on the other end. So if we sort of got to the other end and we were a bit confused, we could literally just call up them. And we always knew where we were, so the airport experience is nothing to be intimidated about, even if it's your first time flying alone. You will get through it very easily. <laughs> It was, it was really helpful to um, get to know Anahud before she came over, um, so I texted her obviously and our families talked um, and most families will have a, a Teams call or a, a Zoom with each other before they come over um, and it was just nice to know like to get to know what she wanted to do and where we could take her and that was something that informed me when I was hosting her because obviously it was her first time coming to the UK so I wanted her to have, to have the best most English time possible so we uh, took her to London did a open open bus tour saw Buckingham Palace and all the other sites and then I went with my um, friend and her and we went around the more modern parts of London, shall we say, and she got to see both sides of the city, which I'm so I think she really, really appreciated. Um, and I also tried to stay with her as much as I could at the school to make sure she didn't feel isolated, which is really important if you're hosting someone because you have to think about how they feel uh, coming to a new country, a new school where they don't know anyone. So you just got to really be there for them and every opportunity. I think it's very important and it's nice to connect with the family. Um, in our case, um, Grace's mother, Amanda, 
had traveled in her youth herself to Europe. And um, she wrote to me, we had a few email exchanges. Um, we shared you know, the structure of the family and how we lived more or less to give each other a flavor. And then we had a couple of FaceTime calls with the other kids as well. So each family, we had younger siblings and I think the matching in that case was also really good. I felt very conscious that we were not going to do as much as the, um, as the other family was because um, in New Zealand, Rosie was a day school and so Amanda was hosting all the time. Um, whereas, uh, you know, Grace had a very different experience in the boarding environment and I think the school trips from here were also really well appreciated. Um, in our case, we had the weekend, we went for, into the countryside, we did the afternoon tea in the country hotel um, and then we went into London as well. It was winter, um, so we did Winter Wonderland, uh, we went up the Shard, um, we went off to um, just around Borough Market and things like that in the River Thames um, and then we, uh, we all went ice skating with the other um, exchange student and her family as well at Somerset House which was quite charming. So I think it's incorporating um, really in the family and in the family life is the most valuable experience because the girls aren't here to be just tourists, they're here to be culturally immersed mm -hmm. and so you know, we took that very much as it, as it sounds and then try to offer things that we would you know, normally do um, perhaps as treats or to show, show visitors around. I think that is one of the highlights of the exchange, getting to see a country from a local's perspective and being immersed in that family. I think also despite being at boarding school, I still felt very connected to your family when you picked me up from the airport, definitely appreciated that. When I think about the impact my exchange has had on me, it's, it's, it's honestly just infinite. Um, obviously one of the biggest things I gained was a global outlook, global perspective on the world and it just face, it gave me new experiences which I'd never faced before which really changed the way I thought about history, culture and politics and everything. Um, but the most personal development that I took from my exchange was the massive confidence boost that it gave me, you know, knowing that I could go to a foreign country for two, three weeks and stay with people who I didn't know very well and in a country I'd never been to before and, and getting through it, not only alive but also having a really good time, um, let me know that really anything was possible if I just decided to go for it and that confidence has taken me through my final years at Down House and just added in such a important way to everything that I do and I, I honestly think that I wouldn't be the same without having gone to India. I think the exchange has benefited Rosie hugely and to travel across the world independently but with support and with the assurance of all the system that works around it and the support system that was offered and the preparation that was made by the school and the schools um, together was just fantastic. It, it builds confidence, it builds resilience um, and, and as we've said, you know, potentially lifelong friendships. Um, but to see those things in a supported environment at a young age, I think is just an enormous benefit. And I, I wish that every child had those opportunities. Well, firstly, I think it's incredibly normal to feel somewhat intimidated or daunted at the prospect of being shipped off to a country that you've never been before or to an environment that you've never experienced before. For example, in my exchange, I went out to South Africa before my buddy Lauren came to see me. So I definitely had some of that sort of pre-departure anxiety, but it is just having trust that you know that this is going to be one of the most incredible experiences and it's such a wonderful opportunity that you don't want to waste any of your energy on worrying when you know that at the other end you have an incredible host family waiting for you who's there to provide you with the best experience possible. Um, the exchange team have put effort into setting you up with a compatible family and a compatible buddy and have sent you to a school that they know that where you're going to thrive and have an excellent time. So you just need to trust the process and try not to go in with any sort of preconceived ideas about um, what it's going to be like and that's how you'll get the best out of your time away. I think, um, you know, we all need to put our trust, we have put our trust in the school by the fact that our girls are here. And, um, and the programme is well established. Um, I think the schools work together very well. 
booklet was fantastic, the WhatsApp group, the access to 24-7 support. Um, we, you know, we never needed to call on it, um, but it's very reassuring to know it's there. And so I think parents should still feel confident that if there's an issue, um, you know, we're all living with COVID nowadays. And so, uh, and particularly um, in our, I mean, New Zealand's quite strict, but the countries, um, all of the countries that, that now are quite strict with the regulations. And if something happened, I think we could all be confident that the schools would take care of it. Um, and, and that, you know, we should, we should go forth and, and explore with confidence.